KP Mercedes Inc. In this video, I'll try to answer a question. So let's do that. Let's go to that video. Shall we? I have here a request. It's not a question. It's more like a request. The guy says that he was watching my videos for a while and he needs my help. He has W124-220E. The car has been lying dormant for the past eight years and he thinks that the issue on the car is the fuel distributor. He wants to restore the car and the distributor and the guy needs my support. Well, he's from Kenya and he cannot afford himself a mechanic. Well, at first, what should you do? Even if you would be so lucky to split the fuel distributor, the both halves, the both chambers, and not to rupture both the diaphragm and uh, not to <clears throat> and uh, not uh, to rupture the o-rings and uh, all the rubber parts inside. This is not going to solve your case. No. Because do you know what it means for a car to be dormant for eight years? For eight years not to be even started. For eight years, imagine four pistons lying in one constant in one uh, same position well so this smells on an engine overhaul and <laughs> that's something i would advise you not even to think about doing yourself if you have never done that before. But never mind. The first thing you will have to do is to try to move, to spin the crankshaft. For that operation, you need a socket 27 and some lever the longer the better and to try to to turn uh, the crankshaft clockwise so remember always turn clockwise never counterclockwise you're going to damage the chain the timing chain and you will have to do about five or six rotations so now you will have to use WD-40 or if you have there in Africa Marvel Mystery Oil, diesel as well, and then to try to, to spin, to turn the crankshaft if you succeed, if you're so lucky. If not, well, then you can forget about the car because the engine overhaul for W124 can go up to many thousand dollars, US dollars. At least here, at least two or three. Uh, because one more thing then, even 
if you manage to restore the fuel distributor, uh, that's not uh, the end of the story. Because now I'm going to tell you, because I know I was restoring a Mercedes lately. I cannot tell for sure. But the things you would have to replace here would be the fuel pump, the fuel accumulator, both of them, let's say $400. All the injectors plus potentiometer, let's say it's 500. Be prepared for the fuel pressure regulator. It's about, let's say it's about $300. That's 800. And uh, if the airflow meter is okay, then okay the lambda and that would be plus some more of the parts approximately nine hundred dollars just for the injection afterwards it comes to the brakes the brakes ceased that's for sure. So you will have to then remove the rotors, the calipers. So if you haven't done that, well, there are tutorials on the YouTube where you can try, but I wouldn't be so optimistic on your place. That's for the brakes. You will be needing liquids, the antifreeze, all the fuels, the engine fuel, the transmission fuel and, and uh, the others for differential, for example, power, steering fluid, brake fluid so that costs as well then beg the god that your your suspension is in a good order and your steering so remember two crucial things on the car are brakes and the steering without those components in a shape as better as possible don't even even uh, think about driving the car you will have to check all of them the shock of absorbers then So, be prepared to invest approximately $2,000, approximately, maybe more, in the whole project. This is not going to last for about a day or two, three days. This is going to last So you will have to, at first, di diagnose the issue and no one can tell you that ju just like that. So believe me, believe me, I know what I'm talking about because lately I was uh, repairing a Mercedes that was uh, outside for 11 years. And a man restored the car 
for a, a kid but now we came to the point where now from the breather who's the fuel the the vapors of fuel get out and that's not a good thing that smells on the engine overhaul so once again long story short if you haven't done something like this before and if you haven't restored at least 10 cars that, that were in uh, this condition in which your car is, then I don't know. I wouldn't be so optimistic to, to try to do that on your place. The mechanic is going to charge and uh, you know why not because of the ke jetronic but because of uh, the screws because of the rusty screws there is nothing and believe me nothing worse than rusty screws plus now let's imagine that everything goes fine with the engine then, for example, imagine you start uh, bleeding the brakes. Those tubes on your car are old. And as the pressure comes in, then your tubes are going to break. You will have to know how to either repair them if not to replace them, to repair them, what to do. And to tell you the truth, something like this, I cannot help you in something like this. For these restorations, I've been charging people so I cannot do something like this for free. Just for one uh, thank you, sir, gar God bless you. Unfortunately, no. So there is going to be a big list of items you will have to buy. And the articles, of course. Because as I was repairing and restoring one Mercedes. I had to order 43 parts. 43 plus various uh, other parts like carb cleaner, brake cleaner, which I didn't count. And something like that, some hose clamps, screws, that's something I don't even count because it's too cheap and no need. But this was B-I-G, big. Either try with a mechanic or with a friend who knows how to repair cars. This is the cruel truth. Because one more thing, I can give you a hint. For example, for something, for the fuel distributor, for example, how to split two halves, or for example, something uh, what is fast, but to guide you through and to do for free some things that are being charged well that's something I can't do this is also for all of you 
a message not to not to neglect your cars and then to start restoring them because it's gonna cost you a good pile of money it's gonna be a real money pit there now you know that so always repair your cars on time don't neglect them because something like this simply does not make sense i'm going now to to make you a comparison i don't know how much guys like this guy know about mechanic but if you were watching some videos and uh, then you saw that those videos uh, last for two hours and you think that in two hours you can re repair a car well, just to tell you, those two hours on camera can turn into five days off camera. At least five days off camera. And, for example, a man I like to watch restoring the cars is... Vice Grip Garage, Derek Bieri. But if you <clears throat> just pay attention to the very beginning of each of his videos, he says that uh, all those videos are not educational. They're just for entertainment. What I want to say is if you have never done something like that never if you have never repaired a car and then you want to make a resurrection then you want to, to repair a dead car let's say it like that a dead car that would be the same thing as if for example you think you know how to run and you think you can uh, then run a marathon. I made it too complicated, too long. Thanks for, for watching. Sorry for my cruel truth. And Happy New Year and Happy Mercedes. -ing. So, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Then, I would kindly ask you not to hit the button uh, skip ad. That is going to help me a lot. And, till some next one. Happy Mercedes-ing. Bye.